most of us, when we're bass fishing, we're just simply going down the bank with our trolling motor. That's really what a lot of bass fishing is. It's what I do a lot of times. It's what I love to do. I love to go down the bank, throw on a crankbait, throw on a plastic worm, a jig, a spinnerbait, topwater bait. I love going down the bank and fishing. If you like to do that, and most of us do, and we are spending a lot of time out in the middle of the lake now. You know, I learned to fish. When I learned to fish for bass back when I was a teenager on Lake Ten Killer, I learned to fish in the middle of the lake. I, I didn't really realize you could catch them that good going down the bank. And uh, I learned to fish structure. That, that's what I did. Many times I would go out and not even take a, uh, not even take a, a rod and reel with me. I'd just go out and, and especially once we got locators and I'd go out and look and see what the bottom was and try to find things out on the bottom and different structures and things where, where I could catch fish and break lines and creek lines and things like that. Uh, but if you like to go down a bank and fish, which I, that's what I'd rather do, actually, I'd rather do that than fish out in the middle. Uh, but if, uh, if you like to do that, what is something that you still need to do a lot of the time? Good morning, guys and girls. May 15, May 15, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed to it already. It has a scripture from the Word of God for every single day. It's got a fishing tip for every single day. So you're going to learn a lot about fishing. And it's got a devotional built around fishing. It will absolutely change your life for the better. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. God will see to it that that happens. Today we're looking at 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. It's a really simple verse, but a great one. It says, In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In everything, give thanks. Here's what I wrote about that. It's really easy, really easy for a Christian to give thanks to God during the good times. Boy, we do. We do. We brag on God when things are going good. Even non-Christians do it. Even non-Christians will brag on God when things are going good. This is really especially true of tournament fishermen. Tournament fishermen stand up on that stage. They thank everybody, mostly their sponsors, but they do usually include God. They usually do include their wife and kids, their family, you know, whoever's supporting them while they're out there on the lake fishing tournaments. But how about the bad times? How about the terrible tournaments that we have? How about the times when we lose sponsors, really important sponsors, and we get fired? How about when we are really high in the standings, got a really good shot at winning the tournament, might have the winning catch in the live well, and we break down? and don't make it to the way in How about when we get sick? How about when somebody in our family gets sick? How about total failure? How about when we absolutely 100% fail at what we do? Maybe there's uh, 300 people in the tournament, 305, and we're sitting in 305th place. Or the big tournaments now only let 80 or 90 people in, and you're sitting dead last. Uh, I noticed in looking at some tournaments here just the other day, one of the guys that won a recent tournament in, uh, I think it was BASS, was dead last in the next, very next tournament. Dead last in the very next tournament. Total failure. What happens then? What happens then? Can I tell you? I believe these are the times that we need to thank God the most. Sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? What in the world are you talking about, Jimmy? That's when we need to thank God the most, not when we win. Thanking God, thanking God is one of the ways that we fire ourselves up to get through a difficulty and whatever caused that difficulty. You hear what I'm saying? When we thank God, we, start, we get ourselves fired up. We get ourselves fired up. We are changing our focus from the problem we have and putting our focus on the problem solver, the God that we trust, the God that we put our faith in. And golly, guys and girls. We've got so many things to thank God for that the bad things in our life will become a little bit less important to us. And maybe more importantly, we are doing the will of God. We are doing the will of God when we thank Him. And when we're doing the will of God, you know victory is on the way. Victory is on the way. In everything, in everything, good and bad, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you and for me. Here's our tip for today. When you're fishing the shoreline, we talked about we all love to do it. Turn around frequently and make casts behind you. Going down here fishing this shoreline, you know, 
Every now and then, turn around, make a few fast, just right behind you, right behind you. Make a cast or two right out in front of the boat. Sometimes you'll find a big one out there swimming around. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>